New York City native Eddie Gibbs this week was sworn into the New York State Legislature, representing East Harlem, the neighborhood where he grew up in public housing. And as far as he knows, he is the first person elected to that body who previously served time in prison. Gibbs said he was in awe when he first stepped into the chamber of the New York State Assembly. I still can't describe it, right? Just walking in and in. So I took those two steps and I just stood there and the guard understood the severity of it and he's like, take your time, take your time. Just before his swearing in, he recalled wondering if he could ever shake the stigma of the manslaughter conviction he caught over 30 years ago. So drugs, 14, 15 years old uh, in this community, being in a gang, making money was a great thing, right? For somebody who grew up in poverty, somebody who grew up hungry. And so you didn't think about repercussions back then. You just made money and you were happy. But I was also a target by a lot of people. Gibbs was 17 when he shot and killed a man who had attacked and attempted to rob him. He then spent about a year and a half in the city's notoriously violent Rikers Island jail complex before pleading guilty to manslaughter, and then about three years in prisons outside of the city. Gibbs said his past shapes his legislative priorities, including making it easier for people released from prison to re-enter society. Senator Chuck Schumer, the majority leader of the U.S. Senate, was among the prominent New York politicians to speak at Thursday's swearing in. And instead of the criminal justice system doing what they're supposed to do, nurture people, they didn't. But, Eddie, did Eddie get angry? No. He has such a good heart, he said, I'm going to do better for everybody else so people don't have to go through my experience. Gibbs appears to be pulling through on that front. Lakora Prince Okeagu is an activist in Harlem. He has um, got people together, black, white, Puerto Rican. He has introduced us to all the politicians, and he has supported us um, in funding, uh, and we love him. 